Why do you do that? <laughs> you sound like a person who has a Cockney accent and a stroke. Oh yeah, that was a terrible accent. I'm usually pretty good with accents, so that was awful. Oh really? I can't do any accents except for my parents, which is Russian. Yeah, you do those but, very uh, well. Thank you, but that's all I can do. I don't have any talent. I would be able to do others if I could. What What can you do? Uh, I can do a pretty decent Northern Irish accent. No way! Yeah, you know that scene from uh, In the Name of the Father with Daniel Day-Lewis when he gets, spoiler alert, finally after uh, like a decade and a half in jail, he gets exonerated and he can leave. And then his lawyer's all like, hey, Daniel Day-Lewis, I don't think that was his name in the movie. I think he had a different guy's <laughs> name. That'd be weird if he played a guy also named Daniel Day-Lewis. But he was like, hey, Daniel Day-Lewis, you know, it's going to be a mayhem with with the media on the front of the court steps i think we should sneak you out the back so then old ddl drops this irish car bomb he goes he goes uh lesson i've spent 15 years in prison for a crime i didn't come at i'm going out the front door now don't try and stop me and then he did and i was like that's awesome and then the movie's all like fuck you i'm done threw the microphone down roll credits that's really good. I want to watch it again. Yeah, good movie. Say crime again. Crime. <laughs> That's really good. It's like three syllables almost. That's how the Irish. I know. <laughs> they're I know. they're a little wasteful. They're not. They gotta they gotta get right to it. That's why their economy is right in the shitter. Just get to the fucking point, you know. Yeah. It's got yeah. one syllable. Let's go. Let's go. Let's make that deadline. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the Irish are like that. And I can say this because my grandmother was Irish. Yeah, my grandmother. What? I thought you were a Jew. Oh, uh, it's such a weird mix. Yeah, it's Irish and Jew and British and a little Scottish. Yeah. Oh, no. It's a very diverse gene pool. You're just the worst. Well, that probably makes you healthy like a dog that's a mutt. Well, it should. I'm thinking, given how diverse my gene pool is, I feel like I should be some kind of, like, friggin' ubermensch. Like, I could just bench press your mom's family and fucking have an IQ of 200 and... Wait, before the Holocaust? Because my mom's family only has, like, two people left in it. Oh, well, I can bench press <laughs> them then. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, but we'd want you to bench press more than that. Yeah, that well, as guy with like the the diversity of of genes at my disposal i think i should be just way awesomer can you lift a car and spin it on your finger no i can't do any of that shit like what does it take i guess you just need more genes in your pool <laughs> i guess you know why because i i have some royal lineage on my mom's side apparently we're related to princess diana and prince william and harry through the spencer lineage which is on my mom's side oh well you look a little bit like a, you know, a budget Harry, like a cheap Harry. Like a, yeah, like a like a dollar store Prince Harry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. I'm not related to them enough that we were invited to the royal wedding when that happened uh, a while back, but I am related directly to the future king of England. And yet that is not going to do much on my LinkedIn profile to get me work. So <laughs> what what do I do with this, right? A little bit of pub trivia? Nobody's ever bought me a beer in a pub because of that. Yeah. And oh and, and on my dad's side, Miss Universe runner up, nineteen sixty eight is my cousin. That's kind of crazy, right? That's fantastic. That's wonderful. She was Miss Israel and she was the first Miss Israel to ever get that close to winning Miss Universe, and uh, she's my cousin. I met her when I was 12 when I went to Israel. Wow. And at that point, she was like mid-30s and big as a house because she was like about 14 months pregnant. So I've got all this crazy lineage on both sides, royal family, and then like Miss Universe runner-ups, and the diverse gene pool. Like I should be some kind of Wolverine slash Einstein combo. And look at you. And I'm a little offended that I'm not. 
and instead you're less than nothing. Right? So what the fuck? I mean, I don't know. My, okay, if it makes you feel any better, my family uh, on both sides, they were all like musicians, incredible visual artists, and uh, incredible intellectuals. And I'm, I'm a fucking cheese eater and uh, dance mom's watcher. Like, I, I'm just a f puddle of shit. Why do you do that? For more information about Lisa, Stephen, and all their interests that fall within acceptable societal norms, stop by youbetterdon't.net.